I started drawing pictures when I was a little kid. We didn't have a TV. It hadn't been invented. I will be 98 in two months. I always try it out a little before I get there. <laughs> I don't think I am an artist. It's something I do to amuse me, and I get kudos for that, and I like a kudo now and then. When I came here, I brought my paint box, but I didn't want the living room always messed up, nor did I want to risk the carpet. I didn't do anything at all until I read about David Hockney and, and his iPad drawing. I thought if he could do all those great things, I could at least do a little thing. I do like to draw faces, and the advantage of being digital is obvious. You don't have to clean anything up. Originally, when my kids started talking computerese and I didn't know what they're talking about, I had no interest at all in this. But a tennis friend told me I could draw pictures on the computer. My grandson would presumably help me. He said, blah, 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 and you do blah, 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 then you do blah, blah, and then I'm supposed to retain that? <laughs> Not very helpful. So it, mostly it's trial and error. Also, I don't buy cards, I make them for family and friends, which are not cards by Hallmark. They're well known in a limited area. <laughs> I never ever wanted to live in this kind of a place. Communal living does not appeal to me. I think the average age here is 87, so it's not kindergarten. But I have made some very interesting friends. I kind of lucked out on them. Oh, well, I've done all their portraits. And sometimes they'll even cooperate. I don't have any great words of wisdom for older people. I mean, you just breathe. But try something new. You could still learn stuff. It doesn't mean your brain quits working, unless it does. <laughs>